welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope that you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget forget to subscribe, comment, like, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, please comment in the comment section below, or you can even email me. My email is in the description below. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to fix kernel 32.dll errors in Windows. Some of you might be asking yourself, what are kernel 32.dll's? And basically what they do is they handle the memory management and input and output operations and they're basically just a very important files or file that are incorporated into the Windows programming to make it run nice and smoothly. And that's basically it. So the main causes for this are, it could be a hardware issue. So it could be your CPU overheating, it could be corrupt hardware drivers, it could be your temporary files are damaged. There's a wide spectrum of things that could cause this, even a virus if you had a virus on your computer. And also, one of the more common ones, in insufficient desk. Uh, disk space on your computer. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix it. So let's say your, you know, kernel 32.dll crashes or you get an error message saying that it's not found. Then you could just, first thing you can do is try to reset your computer, which is pretty easy. You can reset it. And then if it works, then that's fantastic. You don't have to keep going. But if you end up resetting it and you know the problem still persists, then the second thing that I would do is get a, make sure that you have an antivirus software on your computer and I would run a virus scan. I have Kaspersky total security on my computer. So I'll just open mine real quick. Yeah, I have to update mine. I know, I know. Don't judge me. I haven't been on this computer in a while. So basically I would just hit scan and then rather than a run a quick scan, I would do a full run scan. So let's say you did the scan and you deleted everything that you needed to and the problem still proceeds. So the next thing that I would do is go and check if any Windows updates are needed. So, so you can see that there are and Again, <laughs> don't judge me. I know. I got to update everything. Don't worry. I'm going to do it right after this video. And so you would just update. You would install it. And that's basically it. Um, make sure that everything is up to date. Make sure that even if I've had a bunch of issues with the Windows update where it said that it was up to date, but the second that I hit check for updates, then there would be a whole list of different updates that are needed to uh, be downloaded. So just make sure, click it a few times, check now, check now. Also, um, that's, yeah, basically, yeah. Also, there's another one, there's another section, I forget what it's called, but there's, I think it's a view optional uh, updates. Click that and just update everything just to make sure that your system is up and running with the latest files. 
Okay, after that, we would try to go into, oh, sorry, one second here. We would check the system memory. And what I mean by system, RAM, uh, system memory is you would, of course, check the RAM and make sure that it is properly working and you, you can, you know, if you have a laptop or a tower, computer tower, then you can take the RAM out and then put it back in or you can reposition it. So you can either change the slots, you know, if you have two in two different slots then you can swap them to different stop uh, different slots make sure that's not dusty and then just seat them and make sure that they're seated properly and then you would just reboot your computer and see if that would work if that one didn't work then we would go to the windows system uh sorry windows memory diagnostic tool and basically how you would access that is you would go to the go here and then you can just hit run and then here you would write mdsched.exe hit enter and then here you would of course check now and see if there are any problems I'm not going to click this for this particular video, but it will tell you if you have any issues or anything like that. So if that's fine, then we can So, if your memory is fine. Then we would go to the next step, which we would run a SFC scan now command. So basically, it just repairs you know anything broken that can be in your computer and any Windows file. So what we would do is write CMD at the bottom, right click. Make sure that you run as administrator. And then from here, you would just write SFC. And then write backwards dash scan now. Hit enter. We would let it do its scan. And make sure that the verification does in fact hit 100%. So this will basically isolate if there are any files that are broken. I'm really hoping that there aren't <laughs> for the sake of this video, but never know. You can also, of course, not only update through Windows Update, you can also download other multiple softwares that will update the files for you. So a good one is, it's called, let's go into Chrome. Uh, I think it's called Driver Easy. And it's just a pretty good one for updating your 
different files. You can get a free trial. I believe that you do have to pay money. I think it might be only a week trial or something. But this is a good option, of course, to update your drives. And they don't only scan for Windows drives, they also scan for any of any, you know, software updates that are across the board that you need, like Windows, uh, like, not Windows, sorry, like Office 365, stuff like that. Let's see where we're at. We're at 17. We'll just let this go. While I have you guys waiting with me, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This helps me grow my channel and lets me post, of course, more videos for you guys. Um, Okay, so this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that's fine. Let's just say that there's no errors or anything that come up here. That will be fine. Um, so we'll just X this. We'll pretend like there's no errors here, so that's good. If no errors come up with the command prompt, then unfortunately you will have to do a, the last option would have to be to perform a clean install of Windows 10. And basically it's very easy. All you need is a USB drive that's at least eight gigabytes of storage. And basically what you would download is this media creation tool and how you can get it is if you just go Windows 10 ISO into Google and that's the first one and you would download the tool right here and then put it wherever you would want so you would download it and then I have mine right here make sure that you put in your USB drive into your computer and then you would just follow these steps So, just f so you would accept. I think I, I don't have a USB in there right now, but I will put one in just for demonstrations of this video. Oh. And you would create installation media and then you would just do recommend it for this computer. And then here you would write, you would click on or leave it how it is. You would just be flash drive. And then here's the list. So this is the one that I just put in. And then you would hit next, and then the installation would start. It would start downloading it like this. And basically after that's done, then you would just go to the file, you go to D, and then you would just start the entire setup. So 
So I can't remember what Windows I have on this. Oh, it's Windows 11. It won't work, but you guys get the process. Then you would start this entire process. You would hit next, confirm, accept, everything. You would prepare, and that's basically it. And then you would do everything that the operating system wants you to do. So I would ask you for a name, your password, all you know, creating a password, creating a um, security question in case you forget your password, stuff like that. And that's basically it. So hopefully you don't have to do a, you know, perform a clean install. If your kernel 32.dll isn't working properly, but comment below, let me know how far you had to go until the issue was resolved. Thanks for watching. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.